Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. My name is Professor Young, and I've been researching wave theory and analyzing the characteristics and properties of many types of waves for quite some time now. I'd love to share with you my findings. To begin, wave theory is the idea that light is transmitted as a wave, similar to the oscillations in magnetic and electric fields. Wave theory is important because it unifies energy, mass, and force as manifestations of a single entity. Wave theory is used in projectors taking pictures, ocean waves, radios, and much more. Waves are created by a wiggle in space and time and extend from one place to another. Please, sit back and enjoy this educational video brought to you by myself and my international team of associates, Marcus Jeska, Annie Shea, Stephanie Tefeteller, and Raquel Watley. Thank you. Here we have a spherical wave. A spherical wave is one whose equiface surfaces form a family of concentric spheres. The direction of travel is always perpendicular to the surface of the spheres. Our first measurement is the wavelength. That's defined as the distance between the crests of two waves, and that length is 2.5 centimeters. Next, we have our wave frequency. Wave frequency is defined as the number of waves per second, and this is 3 per second. Next, we have our wave speed. Wave speed is defined as the velocity of a point that moves with a wave at a constant phase. And this is 7.5 centimeters per second. Here we have plane waves. A plane wave is a constant frequency wave whose wave fronts, or surfaces of constant phase, are infinite parallel planes of constant peak-to-peak -peak amplitude normal to the phase velocity vector. For this plane wave, the wave speed is 3.5 centimeters per second, the wavelength is 3 centimeters, and the speed is 10.5 centimeters per second. Pin interference is the pattern made when two vibrating objects touch the surface of the water and produce an overlapping of two waves, causing the regions to become in phase or out of phase by the overlap of crests and troughs of each wave. Double slit interference is the demonstration that matter and energy can display characteristics of both waves and particles. Double slit interference is one original wave to create constructive and destructive interference when passed through two slits between three barriers. Constructive interference is crest versus crest or trough versus trough and causes the wave to have a double amplitude. Destructive interference is crest versus trough and makes the amplitude zero. Some constructive interference examples are waves crashing together in an ocean or musical chords. And a deconstructive example would be the Bose noise canceling headphones that send out a sound wave that the human ear cannot hear and cancels out all other noises. Wave reflection is the bouncing back of a particle or wave that strikes a boundary between two media. The angle of incidence is the angle between an incident ray and the normal, which is an equal angle made with a line perpendicular to the surface and an incident ray or reflected ray. The angle of reflection is the angle between a reflected ray and the normal to a surface. The law of reflection is when an incident wave encounters a boundary at an angle, theta, from the normal, its reflected wave will be reflected at the same angle from the normal. Examples of wave reflection include echoes and light hitting a mirror. Here we have diffraction, which is the spreading of a wave disturbance around and beyond the edge of a barrier. When a traveling water wave hits an obstacle, the wave fronts spread out around the edge and becomes curved. 
Shorter wavelengths bend the least when encountering the edge of a barrier. They are in contact with the edge for a shorter period of time. The Doppler effect shows the change in frequency of a wave due to the motion of the source or the edges of an opening.